Good morning, everybody. Scotty Brown here for rootswiki.com and Super User TV. This morning, Google has announced the release of the hotly anticipated Google Drive service. Essentially, it's replacing your Google Docs online. Uh, there are some additional features that looks like they're going to be adding in the future. Uh, but right now, they've released a desktop client for your PC. They've also released an Android client for all of your Android devices. Uh, and uh, surprisingly well, uh, they've done a nice little refresh of the Google Docs interface when you go to drive.google.com. So I'm going to install the app here from the Google Play Store. I am running this on an HTC Sensation 4G uh, running AOKP ROM 4.0.4 build number 32. So we'll get the app installed. Uh, looks like uh, essentially when you search for Google Docs in the Play Store, they uh, it forwards you to the Google Drive app, and I'm not um, I'm not assuming that five million downloads came just this morning. So I'm thinking it was probably just a, uh, all those stats carried over from Google Docs. So let's go ahead and we'll open Drive. This is the initial setup. Uh, of course, you got to accept the terms of service. My Drive is home to your Google Docs, files, and folders. Upload any file from your device to My Drive, share them with anyone, and access them anywhere. Very nice. The UI on this is pretty slick. Uh, let's see, getting set up going here. Uh, first, we'll go into My Drive. Essentially, the UI has changed a bit from the Google Docs UI that you had. Your folders are at the top, going to make it a lot easier finding stuff in the future. Looks like there's some options here to share. Share folders, there you go. Let's go into one of the folders and take a look. And here's my, uh, looks like I've got a bunch of, uh, got all my docs. So these are my, my outlines for the different episodes that we do. View one of these. Yeah, looks like it comes out pretty nicely. Renders well. Yeah. Excellent. So that's uh, the the app is really smooth. Let's look into uh, let's go into some settings. See what kind of settings we have. All right, we got a cache size. We can clear the cache. Uh, encryption is really nice. Data usage reminder. That's a that's a real nice little feature there. <clears throat> go in and view docs that are specifically just shared with you. Starred documents, recently viewed documents, and any offline documents that you might have downloaded. Uh, the uh, the app is really clean. I, I, it kind of fits with the overall feeling and groove of Google's movement towards this this cleaner look that they've done. Uh, I'm going to read you the, some things here that they put out today on the. Uh, the official Google blog. Uh, let's see here. Today we're introducing Google Drive, a place where you can create, share, collaborate, and keep all your stuff. Whether you're working with a friend on a joint research project, planning a wedding with your fiance, or tracking a budget with roommates, you can do it in Drive. You can upload and access all your files, including videos, photos, Google Docs, PDFs, and beyond. Uh, one of the things that they also mention here is the Amount of space, you can get started with five gigs of storage for free. That's enough to store the high-res photos of your trip to the Mount Everest. <laughs> Scan copies of your grandparents' love letters or careers worth of business proposals and still have space for the novel you're working on. You can choose to upgrade to 25 gigs for $249 a month, 100 gigs for $499 a month, or even one terabyte for $49.99 a month. When you upgrade to a paid account, your Gmail account storage will also expand to 25 gigs. Uh, just a side note, they upgraded the Gmail storage to 10 gigs this morning as well, kind of to go along with this. Drive is built to work seamlessly with your overall Google experience. You can attach photos from Drive to posts in Google+, and soon you'll be able to attach stuff from Drive directly to emails in Gmail. Drive is also an open platform, so we're working with many third-party developers so you can do things like send faxes, edit videos, and create website mock-ups directly from Drive. To install these apps, visit the Chrome Web Store and look out for even more useful apps in the future. Uh, I did, myself, install the Hello Fax uh, extension to Google Drive. I get, uh, they've got a promotional thing going right now where you get 50 free faxes a month when you sign up for the service. And uh, virtual, the, the can't, 
virtual faxing is is very convenient. It's surprising how many businesses still actually work with old-fashioned paper faxes. And truth, I don't have a landline here, and I don't have a fax machine, so being able to send faxes virtually is uh, is real nice. Uh, there has been uh, an SDK release this morning for Google Drive, so if you're a developer and you want to get working to uh, get us some goodies to go along with Google Drive, uh, be sure to hit that up and check it out. Uh, otherwise, hey, I'm really excited to see what Google Drive comes up with. I've got the desktop in client installed on my PC, and that looks great. It's really pretty, and uh, it syncs real nice. I'm currently in the process of moving all my stuff from Dropbox over to there, and I think that'll be my kind of my exclusive sharing option from here on out. So uh, anyways, that's just a kind of a brief look at Google Drive. Uh, make sure you're checking us out every Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern for Roots Live. That's our live weekly broadcast where we get a bunch of fun people together and talk about the weekly Android news and also do developer and themer interviews from the website. Thanks a lot for watching. Got any questions or comments, hit me up down below and I'll be sure to answer them directly. Thanks so much and uh, enjoy Google Drive.